now we are going to look at what is known as a hand shaking lemma okay so what is hand shaking lemma it is a statement which is like this it says that in any graph the degree of all the vertices is equal to twice the number of edges okay we are talking about the sum of degree of all the edges so mathematically it's something like this let us suppose i have n vertices so from i is equal to 1 to n degree of vi is equal to twice into e where e is the number of edges in the graph okay so my hand shaking lemma basically tells me that sum of degrees is even okay we are talking about twice into something so it's a even quantity okay so as a consequence of hand shaking lemma i can make a statement that the number of vertices with odd degree is always equal to or is always even okay there are always even number of vertices with odd degree okay why is it so let's check it out let me just copy this okay because of my hand shaking lemma i can call that this sum is equal to a even quantity right now let me say let us call this as equation number one okay now let me say this sum is also equal to x plus y where what is x x is the sum of degrees of vertices with odd degree okay and what is y y is simply the sum of degrees of vertices with even degree okay with even degree right so this quantity is something like k1 into odd right and this quantity is something like k2 into even right where k1 is the number of vertices with odd degree and k2 is the number of vertices with even degree okay so k2 into even is always going to be an even quantity right so what we have over here is therefore since we know from 1 this quantity is even right so i can write over here we have finally even is equal to k1 odd okay plus k2 into 1 is also a even quantity okay so obviously if we have two sums as even then each of them should be even okay because even and odd results in a odd sum therefore k1 dot odd must be even okay which basically implies k1 must be 
E1. Okay. So what is K1? K1 is the number of vertices with odd degree, which basically means the number of vertices with odd degree must be even. Now let's take an example based on this concept. My question says that determine the number of edges in the graph when you are given that graph has six vertices with two vertices having a degree of four and four vertices having a degree of two. Okay, so we have to find the number of edges. How you are going to do it? You are going to use the handshaking lemma. So let's see what is the answer over here. Using handshaking lemma what do we have? We have degree of vi from i is equal to we have six vertices right i is equal to one two six is equal to twice into number of edges okay we know the degree over here the sum of degrees we have two vertices with a degree of four so which is equal to two into four plus we have four vertices with a degree of two plus 4 into 2 which is equal to 8 plus 8 16 okay therefore you have twice of e is equal to 16 implying that e is equal to 8 okay so what do you get you have number of edges is equal to 8 okay so if someone tells you to draw such a graph, let us see how we can do that. We are given six vertices, right? So the graph contains, graph contains six vertices, eight edges, okay? And we know the degree of each vertex. So let us try to draw a graph. Let me suppose this is six vertices, four, five and six. Okay. And we have eight edges. We know that there are two vertex having a degree of four. Okay. So let us assume that these are the two edges having a degree of four. Okay. So let us draw four edges from them okay so one two three and four okay let's let's have it like this okay so this particular vertex has a degree of four now we also want a degree of four over here we are already getting a degree of 1 from this particular edge. So what I am going to do is I am going to connect this to this. Whoops. I am going to connect this to this. Now this edge has a degree of 2. Now this has a degree of 3. And what I am going to do is I am going to connect this to this. Okay. Let's make it a bit better looking. I am going to connect this to this. So now my degree of this particular vertex is also 4. Okay. But my graph contains how many edges? It contains 8 edges. And right now how many edges do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So we want one more edge. We can put it anywhere. So let us try to get that edge over here okay so this is the graph having six vertices eight edges such that there are two vertices with a degree of four and there are four vertices with a degree of two let's check it out how many degree does this particular vertex has it has degree of two okay what about this this has a degree of 2. What about this? This has a degree of 2. 
and this this also has a degree of 2 and this guy we know has a degree of 4 and this guy we know has a degree of 4 as well now let's look at another example let us suppose you have been asked to find the number of edges maximum number of edges in a simple graph okay so we know that in a simple graph between two pair of vertices only one edge is allowed okay this is not allowed because this is going to be a parallel edge and parallel edges are not allowed in a simple graph so what would be the scenario in which you are going to get the maximum number of edges the scenario would be when each of the vertex okay is having a pair when each pair of the vertex is basically is having an edge in that case you are going to have the maximum number of edges okay when there is an edge like this when there is an edge like this when there is an edge like this similarly when these two are connected these two are connected this is connected and for this when this is connected to this guy this guy and this guy so this is the graph for n is equal to 4 when we have maximum number of edges okay so for any given n I'm just going to write over here for n number of vertices maximum number of edges would be possible when when there is an edge between any two pair of vertices okay so for a graph having number of vertices as n what is your number of edges the number of edges is equal to the number of combination of pairs of vertices okay right number of combinations of pairs of vertices just look over here if we have three vertices then what are the total number of combinations of pairs we have a pair like this we have a pair like this we have a pair like this so these are the total number of combinations that are possible for three given edges so what do we have to do we have to count the number of combinations okay so this is going to be equal to nc Two, okay and what is this equal to this is n factorial upon n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial this is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial upon n minus 2 factorial into 2 okay so this gets cancelled so we are left with n into n minus 1 by 2 so this is the maximum number of edges possible for a graph with n vertices